The trick is ordering your photo as an engineering print from Staples. They're typically for construction plants. I got my photo enlarged to a 24 by 36 size for under $4. <laughs> but your image needs to be professional quality, otherwise it gets too pixelated. And I made my image black and white first because they typically won't do the blueprints in color. So here's the thing. Staples is on to us. They know we want these for cheap. So when the first location I called and I asked for this, they said, oh, no, no. We can't do engineering prints with a photo. You can buy a poster for $90. No, say no. Call another location because the second Staples I called had no problems about it, no questions asked, $4 for this guy. Here's what else you need. A piece of quarter inch thick plywood cut to the size of your print. Home Depot will cut it for you for free. One by two inch wood boards for our frame, a little bit of Mod Podge, and either a nail gun and finishing nails, or just a hammer and nails to assemble it. First up, I stained the wood strips for the frame. This is Provincial by Verithane. You gotta stir the stain. You don't shake it, it causes bubbles. While that dried, I attached just the border of my print to the plywood with some Mod Podge. I don't recommend trying to attach the whole photo. It's impossible to avoid the bubbles, man. I hate it. So if you just secure the border, it will stay put and the bubbles will be covered with our wood frame. Hmm. Okay. What's next? The frame. But first, safety goggles. I finally found some. Time to assemble our frame with our one by two inch boards. There's two of these here that Home Depot cut for me. The long cuts are the 36 inch length. And then when we laid them down on the board, we just measured out how long these shorter boards would have to be to be on the inside, made those cuts. I used inch and a half long finishing nails, 18 gauge to build the frame. Next up flip it over, staple the back to the frame. Line up the edges and all the corners, then I used 5 8 of an inch brad nails for this part. And I really secured it. I put a nail about every inch or two all along the frame, probably overkill. Then I just trimmed the excess paper with an X-Acto knife and attached a sawtooth hanger to the back. Here it comes. What do we think, Jesse? Beautiful. 